In a world desperate for clean energy and sustainable transport solutions, the announcement of a self-powered electric car, one that required no charging or fuel, sounded almost too good to be true. And perhaps it was. When Zimbabwean inventor Maxwell Chikambutso claimed he had created the world's first vehicle powered by radio frequency, RF energy, the internet exploded. Hailed by supporters as a visionary genius and a symbol of African innovation, Chikambutso was poised to disrupt the entire automotive industry. But behind the viral videos, red carpet endorsements and national pride, a darker truth lingered one uncovered by journalists, scientists, and fact-checkers who dared to ask the inconvenient questions. Maxwell Chikambutso is no stranger to bold declarations. Raised in Harare, Zimbabwe, Chikambutso first gained attention in the mid-2000s when he allegedly developed a green energy generator that could produce electricity independently of any conventional power source. Over the years, he presented himself as a self-taught engineer and founder of Seth Technologies, a company he claimed was developing groundbreaking energy and telecommunications technologies. Despite his lack of formal scientific training or peer-reviewed documentation, Chikambutso attracted significant public interest, buoyed by an undercurrent of national pride. He symbolized hope for a country struggling with energy crises and economic instability. But admiration quickly turned to suspicion when he introduced his most audacious claim yet, a self-powered car that ran on radio waves. In 2024, Chikambutso unveiled what he touted as a revolutionary vehicle, an electric car capable of running indefinitely without needing to be plugged in or fueled. According to Chikambutso, the vehicle operated using radio frequency energy, a type of electromagnetic radiation commonly emitted by wireless communication devices. The claim sent shockwaves through tech circles and across the African continent. If true, it would signal a seismic shift in energy consumption, transportation and climate policy. Mainstream electric vehicles rely on lithium-ion batteries charged by electricity grids, which still largely depend on fossil fuels. A car that could sustain itself using ambient energy would bypass these systems entirely. Videos circulated online showing a modest black SUV labeled as the prototype. Chikambutso confidently demonstrated the vehicle's movement and even claimed it had driven hundreds of kilometers without refueling or recharging. But few noticed or were willing to question the lack of third-party verification, the absence of patents, and the scientific implausibility of the mechanism described. Soon after Chikambutso's announcement, skepticism began to grow. International media, scientists, and investigative journalists started to probe the claims, and what they found was deeply troubling. Fact-checking organizations such as PR Nigeria, Lead Stories, and Zimai conducted thorough investigations into Chikambutso's self-powered car. Their findings revealed a very different story than the one being promoted. The vehicle used in his demonstrations was identified as a Kai X3 Pro, a standard Chinese manufactured electric car. There was no modification evident that would support any kind of RF energy conversion system. Furthermore, physicists and engineers pointed out a critical flaw. Radio waves simply do not carry enough energy to power a vehicle. While RF energy harvesting is a real field, it is currently limited to powering low-energy devices like sensors or microelectronics. The amount of energy available from ambient radio waves is minuscule, nowhere near sufficient to sustain the mechanical and electrical systems of an automobile. Chikambutso had no patents, no published technical specifications, and no partnerships with engineering institutions. There were no independent validations or scientific endorsements. Everything rested solely on his word. There is no known physical mechanism by which ambient radio waves could generate enough energy to power a moving car. It defies the laws of thermodynamics and the principles of electrical engineering, said Dr. Mandland Lovu, an energy systems researcher at the University of Cape Town. 
Free energy is a phrase that has long circulated in fringe science communities and conspiracy theories. The notion that one can extract unlimited energy from the air without cost violates well-established laws of physics, particularly the conservation of energy. Claims of such inventions often follow a familiar arc. Dramatic announcement, absence of scientific scrutiny, and eventual discreditation. Chikambutso's car fit this mold precisely. Initially, Chikambutso's announcement was met with praise and celebration, especially from within Zimbabwe. Government officials, including President Emerson Omningagwa, endorsed the inventor and publicly commended his contribution to national innovation. The vehicle was hailed as a source of African pride, and plans were made to showcase it at national expos and innovation summits. But as investigative reports emerged, the narrative shifted dramatically. By early 2025, Zimbabwean authorities had quietly deleted all official posts and endorsements related to Chikambutso. This sudden change was catalyzed by an expose published by investigative journalist Simba Chikanza, who not only debunked the self-powered car, but also uncovered Chikambutso's criminal history and previous fraudulent activities. Chikanza alleged that Chikambutso had previously been involved in various scams, including pyramid schemes and false investment solicitations. His track record painted a picture not of a misunderstood genius, but of a skilled manipulator exploiting national hopes and international gullibility. Public faith quickly eroded. Chikambutso's social media accounts were flooded with skeptical comments, and some of his former backers distanced themselves publicly. The disillusionment was palpable across Zimbabwean media. Editorials criticized the government's premature endorsement and failure to perform due diligence. The story transitioned from one of innovation to one of embarrassment and mistrust. The government's silence in the wake of these revelations speaks volumes. One editorial in the Herald read, This should be a moment of reflection on how easily national institutions can be misled in the absence of scientific scrutiny. All eyes were on Chikambutso's promised official product launch on February 10th, 2025, a date he had long promoted as the unveiling of multiple working units of his self-powered vehicle. Expectations were high. Journalists, investors, and curious onlookers gathered in Harare, hoping to witness history. But what they got was not a self-powered car. It wasn't even a prototype. In a baffling turn of events, Chikambutso appeared at the launch event and, instead of presenting a working vehicle, unveiled a scarf. Yes, a scarf. There was no demonstration, no new vehicle, and no explanation for the sudden change. The few attendees who remained left confused and disappointed. Some speculated that the event had been a stall tactic to maintain visibility. Others were less charitable, accusing Chikambutso of outright fraud. Further investigations during and after the launch revealed another blow to his credibility, Chikambutso was using regular municipal electricity at his residence, not any self-generated or endless energy supply, as he had often claimed. There was no sign of a working prototype, no evidence of manufacturing, and no customers. Reports from Zimai and PR Nigeria confirmed that not a single self-powered car had been sold or delivered. The launch had been nothing more than a theatrical illusion. Maxwell Chikambutso saga is a cautionary tale about hope, hype, and the importance of skepticism in science and innovation. His claim to have developed a self-powered car running on radio frequency energy has been thoroughly debunked by scientists, journalists, and fact-checkers. The car never existed. The technology is not viable. The launch was a hoax. What's perhaps most tragic about this story is not just the deception, but the public's vulnerability to it. In an age of disinformation, viral videos, and pseudoscience, people are increasingly inclined to believe what they want to be true, rather than what can be proven. Chikambutso's case underscores the importance of scientific literacy, peer review, and transparent testing and innovation. No matter how compelling a story may seem, no matter how much it promises to uplift or revolutionize, it must be grounded in reality. For Zimbabwe, and indeed the world, the Chikambutso affair is a reminder that dreams must be backed by data and that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Sources and references are Lead Stories Fact Check. Maxwell Chikambutso's claims debunked PR Nigeria analysis, the science behind radio wave energy, and why it can't power cars in my report. Government deletes posts after Chikanza's ultimatum dreams of Africa, 
Radio Wave Car Claim Fails Scientific Scrutiny.